It's Riff Arcade! I'm Josh, he's Butts. Today we're playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time with my cousin and great friend, Spence Bailey. Say hello, Spence, <laughs> so they know you're hello, here. Hello, hello. That's him! <laughs> Hi. The man, the myth, the legend. That's right. Yes, some people may say that. <laughs> I don't know who so they are, but, you know. <laughs> Adoptions. I did. I like to turn the game on hard mode because it gives you more continues. Because just That's easy only gives you three. The way to roll. Mm -hmm. It's like it's harder, but it's easier. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. So let's dive in. We're going to two player it. Um, sp uh, not Spence. Butts and I will be. No, don't go to the demo. I was just about to press start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my settings are still the same, right? Yes. Gotta be quick. That's hard mode, man. <laughs> We're hard mode now. Gotta click fast. It starts on player select. Yeah. All right, so I'm player one. I'll be Wrath. Butts is player two. He's selected Don. Interesting. Yep. Good old Donnie. <laughs> ah! Ha! <laughs> 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 Things are moving fast on hard mode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. That's my impression of a turtle. Try to guess which one I was trying to do. Bloated beanbag. I've been trying to watch my weight. That's a very insensitive comment. <laughs> you know, even for the 80s, I feel like they could have done better than bloated beanbag. Even though I know that this kind of had to be a little PG, I feel what? like they still could have come out with something better than bloated beanbag. Yeah. Well, at least something really 90s, like Flirt Turgler, you know? <laughs> yes. Exactly like that. You can't be like some... <laughs> you narc, yeah. Yeah, some, some body fluid followed by an insult. Like you... You sack of bile moron. I don't know. <laughs> you booger blaster, yeah. Hey, thank you, butts. Thank you for bringing it home here on Riff Arcade. What are I mean, they're teenagers. They're not going <laughs> to... That's what they would come up with. So, Spence and I go way back. I've known him since <laughs> the day he was born. Uh, <laughs> he Something is my like cousin, that. if I hadn't mentioned that already. Um, the nepotism is strong here in Riff Arcade. Absolutely. Um, Spence, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little... So, something that's been troubling me my entire life is... um. I became friends with you on the day you were born, but then it took you like a whole two to three years to reciprocate that friendship, and that really hurt. <laughs> well, you know, man, I had to think. I had to do a lot of thinking. I had to take a few trips around the world to really evaluate my, my situation and everything before you and I decided to really submit. <laughs> the idea of fellowship between us, I, you know, I just had to think about it a lot. I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. But you know, hey, I mean, it's paid off, right? I mean, you know, I what thirty something it years. Did. Since? It, so, it really, really did, Spence. <laughs> really had Good. to find yourself backpacking through Europe. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had to go, and you know, no, no, I no, did no, have no. to <laughs> consult the pulp a few times. <laughs> right. You know, you know, learn how. Arm arms work and how to control his personal bodily functions. Your yeah. old buddy the Pope. Well, you know, I'm sure we could do that for what the after dark riff arcade. <laughs> we talk about bodily functions then. Oh sure. But, you know. <laughs> All right. You know, sometimes anyway. you just can't make a decision without consulting the Pope. You know, you just sometimes you just got to do it. I, I can't blame you there. You're absolutely right. <laughs> it takes a long to pick one, yeah. I well, haven't been back is... since. Um, it's not that I don't like him. It's just he's too far away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Francis, yeah, if you're geez. out there, Spence misses you. <laughs> <laughs> so this game... Aren't there like two popes now? Oh, anyway. No? <laughs> oh, yeah, one retired. Or something. Ow, quit, oh. quit it! That's <laughs> but they're trying to talk him into unretired. Ah. Come back and defend his Make belt. It to come back. Yeah, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> yeah. He's been here for years. He's the champ. Oh, he's gonna come back. What did I do to Baxter? Jeez. <laughs> Leave me alone. And turtles. I don't want to be a tank. Butts. 
You know what you did? <laughs> this is my favorite joke. He's got a handgun now. He's got a, a handgun. Oh, okay. right. was dying. That's where all the 80s went, right there. It went into yeah. the handgun. <laughs> the handgun, yeah. <laughs> they spent their budget on the handgun, yeah. Oh, my shell My handgun. So this game is, of course, called Turtles in Time because the turtles have a date with Shredder's mom and they have to make it to her house in time. That's the premise. But because it's a time-related video game, they've actually already been there before. It's just a big time loop. We're just <laughs> completing it again, you know, That's once right. again to Shredder's mom's house. <laughs> Mrs. Shredder, yeah. Which would explain. <laughs> Mrs. Shredder, yes. That's right, Butts. Shredder's last name is Shredder. <laughs> Shredder, yeah. That's why he's called Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> you call me Butts, yeah. <laughs> That's a fair point. Fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> Shoo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So let's... Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Let's... Enough of this daycare malarkey. Okay. <laughs> Josh Spence, what is... Who is your favorite turtle? People want I, I actually, I relate very heavily with Donatello. I oh, me too. Do. Yeah, I like Donatello. You know, he does machines. <laughs> you <laughs> know, a four-story coffee machine. Yeah. I would say ever since I was a kid, I always loved Leonardo. But you know, the older I've gotten, the more mellow I've gotten. I gravitate towards Michelangelo now. Maybe it's mm -hmm. the pizza. Maybe it's the nunchucks. So well, he's a party dude. <laughs> it could also be that. We'll never know. <laughs> you do wear a lot of orange. When I was a kid. <laughs> that would explain. Spence always wears orange the entire time I've known him. It suddenly makes so much sense. I thought Jeez, he was just man. a prison inmate. I thought we were friends. I thought, you know, my time <laughs> consulting the Pope, I thought, you know, that <laughs> that was a really special time for me. I can't believe you just threw it away by not remembering that orange is my thing. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh. You didn't just innately know that. Fair point. Um, yeah, I was going to say, uh, when I was a kid, my favorite was Leonardo. But I think at that age, it's solely because my favorite color was blue. Like, I think when you're four, that's how you pick your favorite turtle. <laughs> I blue. I blue. Well, I mean, I, I picked it because he had swords, and well, I was a big sword freak uh, as a kid. Uh, yeah. Yeah, swords and, pretty rad. you know, you didn't really think, you know, as a kid, like, oh, wow, size or a bow or nunchucks. You don't really think about those hurting, you know, but as you <laughs> get older and adult your way through life, you realize, like, one really good shot to the kneecap with a nunchuck will put you away for a while. <laughs> yeah. I am 35. <laughs> yeah. I, will, yeah. I will not sleep right for weeks. <laughs> you will never walk again if you take a check to the kneecap at 35, yeah. <laughs> Josh, there's a bomb. Don't get that. But I want it. You should get it. Get it, butts. Somebody get the bomb. Get the bomb! <laughs> I mean, look at that. That has <laughs> got to hurt so bad just being absolutely destroyed with a bow oh yeah oh stairs could take us out now like you think a bow staff <laughs> it was one of those yeah we're gone oh you need that pizza oh i do oh, thank you <laughs> yes i do goodness so spence you're born a few years after butts and i was yes were turtles still going really strong when you were like five or six uh, well, I forget. What's your history with turtles? Tell me. If you consider binge watching the turtles movies after your mom takes you to McDonald's after school, mm. uh, mm -hmm. yes, I would say. Yep. Pretty okay, popular. Yes. I'd say you were of age <laughs> when mm -hmm. the turtles were big. Oh, uh, you just uh, you broke that wall. Oh, slim balls. Yeah. He didn't say slime balls. They left out the silent e. <laughs> That's just not yep. what you want to hear. You do not <laughs> want someone calling you slim balls. I mean, of, yeah. check your grammar, snurd burglar. A lot of weight shaming in this game. <laughs> Body image issues. There's certainly that. Well, they are heroes in a half shell. You think Metalhead <laughs> has like Alexa installed on him? <laughs> Alexa, point the trajectory of the. Oh, sh <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like. 
metal head. <laughs> How many ounces are in a pound? <laughs> like stuff like that. Boom. Ow. I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> always listening, yeah. <laughs> and jump. I'm sure if I say it too loud, my Alexa in my room will turn on by herself. Okay. Sewer Maybe surfing. Ah. Oh. Yes, Vince. Yes. Did you have a cat Did you have a yet. thought? <laughs> I have plenty of thoughts. And now, <laughs> now for the best music of the game. <laughs> yes. There are no thoughts needed for that. Again, they spent all their music budget on this level. They're like, I don't know. Yep. Oh. Sense on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jimmy ah. rocked himself out into a coma <laughs> writing this one, so he's he's out. Yeah, the whole game so looks like they only have five hundred dollars left to spend after they spend <laughs> it all on the theme song. Yeah. <laughs> For this level. Oh, what was that? It was a pizza. Oh, pizza. It's questionable ah, pizza. I died. Because you're getting it I, in the sewer. I died by flying over pizza. No! My toe! My toe! Oh. <laughs> yep. yep. The yep. always yep. classic, never old, my toe, my toe. I can you know never what, love get it. past this part. Never. So let me ask you guys, speaking of pizza and the 90s and being children, which is <laughs> entirely what the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles encompasses, um... I don't know about y'all school, but the schools I went to, pizza day in the lunchroom was like the the best day of your life. It was just like it's pizza day, and the feelings inside of me cannot be contained. Like, <laughs> did y'all did y'all have that when y'all were in school? Absolutely. Yes. yes. There are two hey, debates awesome. that will rage forevermore about that. First, yeah. Um, did you like the triangle? pizza like the shape we all know today or that crazy rectangle shaped pizza well in my experience the triangle pizza rectangle. didn't exist in school lunch it was only the rectangle that was all there ever was oh, well see I got on the tail end I guess when they started doing the triangle pizza so I had a little bit of both the rectangle pizza oh still yeah wins. oh yeah rectangle one all the way it had that like diagonal yeah. cut down the like the middle of it or something oh god we're still fighting yeah. Oh, we were, was well, that was like come on. Buzz. It was like the mass-produced pizza. Like that was how they. But there was something. That's how they the made that, it for thousands of kids. Something about the way that sauce just, you know, hit your taste buds. I don't know uh, what. It really I don't hit. Know what it was. <laughs> yeah. It hit yes. And then the second debate that will forever rage is, who in the hell, in the federal government decided, to pair corn with pizza in public schools, because now. I always just, anytime I have pizza, because of having corn with it half the time, you know. <laughs> yes. You think, well, uh, you know. Yep, it started in school, and now it's just pizza with corn. That's it. There's Everybody no other, listening it's to the this, best side. Leave a comment on this video about your thoughts about uh, corn being yes. paired with pizza. April, how'd you get yes. oh, I also <laughs> want to know who... <laughs> Who in the government was like, okay, we're going to give them pizza. We'll give them cheese pizza. What other topping should we put? And someone said, nothing but sausage. And they went, good, call it a day. Like, That's true. You put a single topping on pizza. You put pepperoni. I've, but I've actually never thought of that. I've never thought about how the only topping in school pizzas was the sausage. See, you missed the triangle huh. pizza because it was always sausage on the rectangle pizza. And it was always pepperoni on the triangle pizza. Always. And yeah. so, you know, actually for a while there, oh I got so much triangle. Y'all just missed out on the triangle pizza. No. If there's one I'm takeaway yeah, from this video, you guys missed out <laughs> on the triangle <laughs> yeah. pizza. Too old, yeah. Back in my day, it was, pep it was sausage, and that's all you got. Did, did you guys have the um, octagonal Mexican pizza? The no. Crunchwrap Supreme? What? No. Oh. <laughs> did you, Spence? Did you have that? No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, that's just me then. We, like, our school right. also Hang had... Hang on, buds. Hang on. I tell you what. Let's let's discuss the octagonal pizza on the next episode of Riff Arcade. Oh, so you guys... Taste. 
That, there's, you're not going to get a better cliffhanger than octagonal government issue pizza. So we'll see you on the next episode. Uh, we're going to keep Spence. We're going to play through this whole game. So we'll see you then. Goodbye. Oh, we're playing the whole game. Cool. All right. Keyboards, go.